Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Gaming Definition. My name is James and today I have a double PM9 Moab for you, but that's not what matters. Today we're here to talk about how to play Modern Warfare 3 reliably in 2017 without cheaters or other annoying stuff occurring in game. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Right, so as you all very well know from the video that I posted the other day, Steam Modern Warfare 3 is pretty much dead with all the hackers, cheat. You know, you know, I don't even know to need to go over it. If you haven't seen the video, then I definitely recommend checking it out because it is god awful. But now here is what we're going to be doing, or rather what I'm going to be doing thanks to Ismail. Um What's up, guys? about the Steam problem. So Ismail has kindly devoted a few of his servers to Steam rules on Technogod, so we're now going to be able to play as if it's Steam. Except on with the lovely dedicated servers, the um, no more kick to all that nonsense, and hopefully we're not going to have the worry of hackers ending the game early or taking control of servers and doing other crazy stuff. But yeah, yeah. over to you. User in your so basically, the servers are going to be running on Techno Gods, and Techno Gods, if you guys do not know, is a dedicated server platform for Call of Duty. It's a separate client from the Steam side of things. In order to get Techno Gods, you guys can check in the description of this video, and you will be linked to a video tutorial as well as a written tutorial. Uh, and you can go there if you want to download Techno Gods. So these servers are basically, like he, like TGD said, it's going to be Steam-based rules. The only unfortunate side thing is uh, there is a kill streak counter at the top. Now you, you guys might be asking, why is that unfortunate? Well, some people do not like that when it comes uh, in terms of gameplay. Uh, they don't like having the kill streak counter. They say, oh, it helps you out in a way. Uh, but everybody on the server is going to have a kill streak counter. It's at the top, so it's going to be fair. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot disable it. I tried disabling it, but the current admin tool that we are using does not allow us to. But this admin tool is the best admin tool out, so we are going to continue using it because it helps prevent a lot of different uh, difficult cheaters that are hard to ban. It allows you to ban them. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the rules of this server. Basically, it's going to run just like Steam. Everything is allowed. Uh, the regular de default classes are there. Everything is basically the same, except there are certain rules, like uh, certain anti-trolling rules. By that, I mean you can't trap your teammates in corners. You can't shoot an unsilenced weapon and follow your teammate throughout the entire match. Uh, if there is an admin present, he will kick the person or warn them to stop. If they don't stop, they will get kicked. Also, obviously, no cheating, no hacking of any sort. If you are hacking, you will get banned uh, by an admin or if somebody reports you you'll also get banned if they provide uh, sufficient video proof as for some other things there are there is going to be um, a ban appeal section and we're going to use the vibrance uh, the vibrance ban appeal section on our website in order to ban appeal on these steam servers now these steam like servers sorry uh, they're called steam like servers because they follow a lot of steam rules but it is going to be linked up to the vibrance gaming engine.com website because I already have the website set up for the uh, for the vibrant servers now this is going to be running in Europe right now. These servers, the the first three that we got, the um the team that match one, the domination one, and the what is it? The kill confirmed one. They're all going to be running in France. That is where I have my dedicated server box, so it's going to be running there. Uh, and there's going to be a new one coming up on the United States side, but it's going to take a little bit longer to make uh, because of the limitations of the box in the United States. Unfortunately, it's only going to be one Steam-based server, Steam-like server, uh, and it's going to be called Steam-like Ground War. So it's going to combine those three game modes into one, uh, into one game mode. Now, one other thing I would like to mention is if you get banned wrongfully, because sometimes admins do make mistakes, uh, you can ban appeal, and everything is fairly uh, looked at. And a lot of different admins look at it, including TGD here. He looks at a lot of the ban appeals and gives us his perspective. <laughs> yeah, so. That's one thing that we're going to do. Uh, and also, if, if you guys got banned, like some people will say, oh, I got banned on this server. And then they will just write a comment on YouTube videos. And I've seen this a lot. Oh, I got banned on this server uh, unfairly. Or I joined for the first time and got banned automatically. There are sometimes hackers that have similar IDs to other people. And it auto bans you because you have the same number identification thing as the other uh, hacker. I, I won't go in depth into the specifics. But basically, you guys have the same number. It's like your phone number, right? And you join the server. He was banned. Now you're banned. 
So it, it is BS, but if you ban appeal, like uh, this happened to a guy actually who ban appealed, and I checked all the logs to make sure he was telling the truth because I can see locations where this person's from um, and all that stuff. So I can see which person is lying and which person isn't. And he wasn't lying, and we found a way to unban him and allow him back onto the server. So please, guys, just make ban appeals. Uh, not every time somebody's banning you for the wrong reason. Sometimes it's a mistake. Sometimes admins try to ban a hacker and it bans another person because of what the hacker is doing by stealing some people's GUIDs in the lobbies, but we get it settled. Uh, it barely happens on Techno Gods, though. A lot of times, most of the hackers are are only just using cheats for themselves personally. It's very hard to find a hacker that actually steals people's IDs. Uh, sometimes it's just a coincidence that the person has the same ID as another person. But the the GUID stealing people, the GUID stealing hackers, uh, used to exist on the older versions of Techno Gods, and only a few of them exist right now. And when we ban them, we make sure that we try our hardest for them to never be able to come back onto the server. Uh, that's banning them via multiple variables. So yeah. Now that I mentioned all that, um, the server, uh, the server rules, you know, and everything, yeah, uh, just come on the server, populate, and TGD will tell you guys some more about that. Right. Well, yeah. Of course, as it's going to be like Steam, um, we are keeping the rules the same. So it's nine v nine. So we're going to have ground war game modes and ground war maps. So it's not going to be all of the same map. It's not going to be dome 9v9. It's going to be not going to be lockdown 9v9. Oh my god. 9v9. It's going to be what you would see in matchmaking to make it fair. Make it fair rather. Because as you all know, I'm in rush pub stomping now and I can't just go for gameplays on techno and never um, put anything up there. So it's got to be it's got to be the same. It's got to be what console players can play, and um, yeah, I know PC and console are two different things, but you know, let's let's be fair now. We want we want it to be the same. Now, of course, I'm, I'm sure that many people coming over from Steam to Techno will be happy to see what it's like to play Ground War on actual Ground War maps and game modes again, because as we all know, Ground War is dead on Steam because for some reason nobody plays it, even though it's nine v nine and everything else anyway. So might as well, but yeah. Um, so it's going to be. We're, unfortunately, we're going to see a map maps like Village interchange and downturn, but I guess it'll make it more interesting. You know, you can't stick to the same sta same there yeah. same three maps all the time. Looking at you, techno players. Come on, <laughs> switch it yes. up now and again. Your channel. Right. Here's recording. another major thing that will be a problem for many techno players. You need to get terminal. So make sure you download that. <laughs> So yeah, TGD brought up a really good point about that, and I just want to reiterate how important it is to have Terminal in your game uh, so you're able to experience the entirety of the server and have a lot of fun. Uh, now, for the next thing that I wanted to mention is something that I get asked a lot, and that's about the MW3 folder. Now, for Techno Guides, you need a MW3 folder, uh, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, other things include like... Um, uh, what kind of patch does Techno Gods run on? Because some people don't know. It's the 1.4 patch, but the links in the description that TGD and I will provide are very good links. One is a video link. One is a written link on how to get the game. They are both great links. Highly recommend you guys check them out. I would also like to mention that there are other servers if you want a more techno-based experience and you, you want like crazy rules, 20-minute long maps, stuff like that. The Vibrant servers are still going to be up, so you guys can um, can see those too. But I highly recommend the Steam ones uh, because they're going to give you the best experience uh, like Steam. Plus, you're going to get dedicated servers on top of that, which means it's a solid connection. Unlike Steam's peer-to-peer -peer connection, that's always, uh, I, I would say, dodgy that goes up and down. Is, is that the correct term? <laughs> And then, of and course, the, there'll be kick tool. Yeah, there, there's always a lot of kick tools on Steam as well from the hosts, and that's always irritating. So this is going to be great. Dedicated servers. We'll see you guys there. And we're going to make a USA one. Unfortunately, it's going to combine the three game modes. It won't be split up. Uh, it won't be split into the three game modes like I mentioned before because I have limited RAM and space and all that on the USA side of things, uh, unlike on the EU side of things where we have more... Uh, more resources to work with so we can create more servers. So the USA one is just going to be called uh, Steam Like. Uh, sorry, it's going to be called Steam Like uh, Ground War with USA at the end. The rest of the servers are going to have EU at the end. It's going to be Steam Like TDM, Steam Like Domination, and Steam Like Kill Confirmed. You'll see it all on the server list, and we'll hope to see you guys there. Uh, if TGD wants to add anything, download more RAM. <laughs> <laughs>
And on that note, uh, yes, take it away. Alright, well once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully I get to see more of you guys on Technogods as Steam. If you if you guys still consider playing Steam over coming over here to the reliable servers, you guys are damn crazy, I'm telling you that. But yeah, um, if there's any problems with installing Techno, I'm not very good at giving advice, but I'll run you through the basics. If it still doesn't work for you, then um, we'll have to look elsewhere for other tips. But yeah, just follow everything in the tutorial. Everything should be fine. Yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching, and yeah, I hope to see you on the techno servers. Or should I say, the Steam techno servers. Ooh. Be sure to have terminal like TGD said. It is highly recommended if you guys want to be able to play in a smooth, experienced way. What the fuck is wrong with me, dude? User See, I do this shit in my own commentary. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Terminal. User in your channel started recording. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as Ms. Mel keeps saying, make sure to get Terminal. <laughs> uh, three, two, one.